Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Now at 6 a.m., we are tracking a crime alert in Lexington after a man was attacked in his home. And new details about a man and woman accused in a Lexington bank robbery. The cats survive a tough test from an Ivy League opponent. These stories plus breaking news as it happens coming up on WKYT this morning. Good morning and welcome into you. I'm Rebecca Smith. It is Thursday, December 11th. We are just creeping closer to Christmas. Hope you've gotten all your shopping done. And if not, you still got a little bit of time. Uh, Bill Bryant has the day off, and here now with a look at weather is Micah Harris. Well, the good news is outside we're not even having to look at First Alert Defender Live Radar because there's nothing on it. So we're starting off dry. I think this is your start of your dry days in store. Now, anytime you have clouds overhead and temperatures like what you are seeing right now on the screen in the 20s and 30s, you can get a couple of flurries flying around. Couple. So just don't be surprised, but that doesn't even really add up to any chance outside uh, to put there on the seven-day forecast. That's why you're not going to see it. 29 degrees there in Lexington, 30 in Richmond. As you work your way down to the London Corbin area, you're sitting there at 31. Lincoln County, Casey County, I'll be there seeing you guys at some of those schools uh, later on this morning. Look forward to that. Uh, but for right now, 38 degrees as we hit the afternoon. A chilly day in store, but all focus is on the next few days as we're looking for some sunshine and we will get it. I'll take you off towards your week and it gets much better with not just the sunshine, but temperature wise coming up in a few minutes. I knew this morning a man was attacked in his apartment overnight during a bizarre home invasion. Happened overnight on Cross Keys Road off Alexandria Drive. And our Mark Barber is tracking this crime alert live for us this morning in Lexington. Good morning, Mark. What can you tell us? Good morning, Rebecca. Police say in this unusual robbery, two women were staying with the man in his apartment for about a week before they helped a robber steal his prescription medicine. Now, police say that the robbery happened at the man's apartment on Cross Keys Road near Alexandria Drive around 10 45 last night. Police say the man who lives there let two women who he didn't know very well stay with him for about a week. Now, police say last night he woke up and saw a masked man standing over him armed with a pool cue. Police say that the robber hit him in the face with that pool cue and then took off with his prescription pills, his cell phone, and the two women who were staying there. Now, police tell us that the man who was attacked was not seriously hurt. Investigators tell us they are still searching for the three people who got away in a silver four door vehicle. Live in Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. All right, thanks so much, Mark. Also new this morning, a driver is being checked out after running his semi off the interstate. Happened about 3 this morning on I-64 in Clark County at exit 94. The driver told police he fell asleep. The semi ran off the interstate, crashed through a fence, then overturned on a side road. Traffic on the interstate moving just fine this morning. The semi is loaded with mulch, we're told. A towing company says the semi will need to be unloaded before it can be flipped upright. Uh, a pair of suspects in a Lexington bank robbery are preparing for court this morning, and we've learned some new details about how police say they pulled off the crime. WKOT's Victor Puente is live in Lexington with the new details this morning. Well, according to Kenneth Honekin's arrest warrant, it was a family member of the woman police say was with him during the robbery who identified the pair. Now, that was after surveillance pictures from that robbery were released. It happened at November 25th at the United Bank on Harrodsburg Road. Police say 52 year old Kenneth Honekin and 24 year old Amanda Eldridge went into the bank, and Eldridge gave the teller a note that said, quote, I have a gun. If I don't leave with $5,000, he will kill me. Hurry, stay calm. A court documents say multiple family members identified the pair. And police say the purple truck the two used to leave after the robbery is owned by Honekin's father. Now, Honekin was arrested yesterday in Lexington. Eldridge was arrested in Jessamine County. Now, Lexington police haven't identified her charges, but we do know he's being charged with first degree robbery. His arraignment is later today. Live in Lexington, Victor Puente, WKYT. Well, two years after an Ohio woman was murdered, police arrested the suspect in Kentucky. Daniel French faces several charges, including murder and abuse of a corpse. He was arrested yesterday in Rockcastle County. Investigators in Butler County, Ohio, say French killed 87 year old Barbara Howe in 2012. She was found in the trunk of her car a few miles from the retirement village where she lived. French's neighbors said they were shocked to learn he's accused of the crime. I was just really shocked to pull in to the driveway and see all the state police cars next door. I mean, I didn't, I would have never guessed that would be a place that they would ever show up at. 
French is in jail in Rockcastle County awaiting extradition to Ohio. He's expected to be in court on Monday. A horrible discovery outside a Rowan County home. Investigators found two starved and injured dogs, one of which was dead. The surviving dog, a Doberman, now being cared for by the Star Rescue Group. Volunteers say the dog, named Lola, has skin and ear wounds and weighs much less than she should. They're now trying to nurse that dog back to health. We've seen a lot of horrific things through the years, and she's one of the worst starved ones we've allegedly starved ones that we've ever come across. So far, no charges have been filed. Lola's former owner said off camera both dogs were given plenty of food and water. He claims Lola would eat but still lost weight. Five stores in Pulaski County are closed this morning, and the owners are facing charges in a case of organized retail crime. The businesses are all gas stations and food marts. The Pulaski County Prosecutor's Office says people were stealing merchandise from Kroger and Walmart, then selling the items to smaller stores. Police say the owners knew the items were stolen. Ten people were arrested. Investigators say the crimes have far reaching impacts. Your retailers lose out, your wholesalers lose out, and ultimately the consumer. We're all paying the price of it. Now, all of those arrested were indicted last week. The indictments were actually sealed until yesterday to give police time to make arrests and serve search warrants. U.S. Marshals arrested a Lexington attorney accused of theft. Police looked for John Scott Benton for more than a year. They say he stole two statues from an art gallery in Versailles. When Benton didn't show up for a court hearing, a warrant was issued for his arrest. He was arrested yesterday morning in a home on Dory Drive. Happening today, a man accused in a Lexington murder case will be back in court. A bond hearing is set today for Michael Crow. He is accused of murdering his wife, Felicia Walker. Her body was found at the America's Best Value Inn on Versailles Road back in April. Well, the state has withdrawn its offer of tax breaks for a religious themed park in northern Kentucky. The state's tourism secretary says plans for Ark Encounter have evolved from a tourism attraction into an outreach for the Christian ministry that's building it. He says giving the project incentives would violate separation of church and state. The park is to include a 500 foot long wooden ark. Construction began in Grant County. Be prepared for more slowdowns today in Lexington. Two rounds of blasting planned on New Circle Road. Yesterday morning's blasting at 10 a.m. was canceled. The afternoon blast went on as scheduled at Old Frankfort Pike. Crews were briefly shut down while New Circle, uh, they briefly shut down New Circle ahead of each blast. It's all part of that ongoing road widening project. Blasting will continue each day for the next few weeks. The Big Blue received a big test in Rupp Arena. Kentucky took on an Ivy League team, Columbia, and the game was a lot closer than many UK fans were expecting. Texas. The Wildcats opened as a 23 point favorite over the Lions, but Columbia got off to an 11 and 0 run to open the game. That combined with a good defense had UK trailing by two and a half. The Cats clawed their way back in the second half and managed to pull out a 10 point win, 56 to 46. It was a season low in points for UK. We'll hear from an upset coach Calipari coming up in sports. Let's check to see how traffic is moving this morning. Here is Officer Don with a look at live drive traffic. Good morning to you, Don. Good morning, Rebecca. Well, we're no problems on the circle right now. We were just uh, looking at the inner and outer loops of the circle around Versailles Road and Leestown through that widening project and all the blasting that's going to happen today. But at least all lanes are open. A little distracting through there with all the work going on, but they're going to keep it moving for us, hopefully, through rush hour. Let's get a look outside and we'll show you what to expect there at I 75 and 64 through the northern split. On our Waze map, uh, so far we're seeing slowest traffic inbound Nicholasville Road approaching the circle. We expect that. Also, at alumni and Tate. Creek. Uh, for the most part, just a couple of stalled cars and, uh, and, and normal slowdowns as we keep an eye on things and keep you up to date throughout the morning. Now back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Don. All right. So here is an Adam Sandler uh, Big Daddy reference for you. It's not Scuba Steve, remember, but Scuba Santa that's making a big splash down in Texas. I remember that one. <laughs> hey, yeah, we're needing some sunshine for today, and we're not going to see much of it today, but the next few days, we will definitely pick up on a lot of sunny skies. Now, go over the latest forecast. Off towards your weekend, it does get better with the temperatures, too. I'll show you those numbers next.